everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm working on a custom order set of 15 3D flower resin coasters. And I'm using my favorite resin for 3D flowers, and that's Craft Resin. They're a one-to-one -one ratio by volume, and I'll have a discount code in my description if you want to check them out. I pour in equal parts of the A and B into a larger cup and mix that together well for several minutes. Then I make sure that my molds are clean and I'm doing this by going over them with some tape and this will easily pick up any small particles or fibers that have gotten onto your molds. Then I separate my resin into smaller cups. I'm using Just Resin's Pigment Paste in the shade Titanium White. And in another cup, I add in some small black and gold beads to be the center details for my flowers. I start by pouring my clear resin into the mold and then take my white pigmented resin and pour it into the shape of flower petals. And I repeat that process for all of my molds. A few of the molds didn't fit into the shot, so you're only seeing 12. Using a wooden stick, I drag it from the edge of the mold and between each flower petal into the center. And this helps to give my flowers a better shape. And for a little pop of color, I'm using Liquitex's acrylic ink in a gold and yellow shade. And I just drop that on top in the center of the flower petals. And I carefully add in my center detail. And if you're interested in receiving bonus content and extra tips from each video, I'll have my Patreon page linked in my description. And I followed that same process for the remaining molds. And here I am the next day demolding. I use an X-Acto knife to scrape off the lifted edges. Mm -hmm. 
and now I'm going to prepare them for a top coat so that they can have a shiny, flawless finish. To do this, I'm using my liquid latex and I pour it around the edges of every coaster. Then using a silicone makeup brush, I push the liquid latex to the very edge. This protects the bottom side of my coasters from drops of resin that will flow over while I'm doing my top coat out of a mold. I wait for my liquid latex to dry just enough so that I can flip my coasters over without the liquid latex moving. Then I prop up my coasters onto cups. Again, I'm using craft resin to top coat and it's a great resin to top coat with because it's heat resistant up to 203 degrees Fahrenheit or 95 degrees Celsius and is also scratch resistant. I pour the resin onto each coaster and again using my silicone makeup brush, I make sure that the resin has reached every area of the coaster and drag it to the very edge. Before you do this, you'll also want to make sure that you're working on a leveled surface this is very important anytime that you're working with resin. The next day, once the resin has completely hardened, I'm able to remove the liquid latex. Then I use a gold adding marker to add on a gold trim. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.